All right, all right. All right, so here we go. What we're going to be playing today is what is called Forsaken World, and here we are in the city of Nightfall. And I am a warrior, KG Arashi, and I am one of the first people on the server who have hit rank 100. The server patch just released uh, a number 33 out of many people. Uh, what we're going to be starting off with is what is called elemental spire this is easy mode this is a daily quest that we can do to get champ points so we can upgrade our gear to the latest and greatest stuff that's available um, of course loading screen is instanced off like this uh, forsaken world for those of you don't who don't know this is a uh, this is a clone of wow kind of um, it's got its own proprietary engine and and system that was developed in china from a company called wanmei and they've done a pretty good job, and I'm, I've got a pretty fast computer. We're, we're streaming in 4K, and my computer's still faster than most other people's by loading in and everything. Uh, we've got this boss over here. She is called Sora's Shadow. And when we start to play here, I'm going to I'm gonna jump on over to her. Um, I'm a warrior. Issa Wien is another warrior. Uh, we should have Gaslin popping in. He is the number one warrior in the game currently. Yeah, 4K, look at all those effects. Oh, Kimi Hari already went in. Kimi Hiari or whatever his name is. And we're hitting and her health is going down pretty quick. This was the level 90, or the level 85 instance to do every single day. This is one of two bosses in easy mode. Uh, there is a normal and a hard mode. Normal mode has three bosses. Hard mode has three bosses as well. But hard mode is significantly harder, of course. Uh, there is hard mode last boss only which a lot of people do like to go to. Um, it does drop gear, and there's, of course, there's gear here. I can roll on it. Everybody's rolling on it, and I might or might not get it. It all depends on how high I rolled. I can't see 22 there and 15 there. <laughs> I probably won't get it. Standing in the teleporter here, boom, and I'm here. And, of course, we got to wait for everybody. I didn't buff everyone. Maybe that's why I wasn't going down as fast. Let's try that. One buff, two buff, and three buff. Oh, Kimihari's already in on it again. And let me smack it. Issa is taking aggro. Gaslin is taking aggro. I'm not the best warrior in the game, as Gaslin is, but... I am still fairly strong. I've got the best gear you can get without being in the very most recent set or the gold set, the legendary gear, which is expensive, prohibitively. Oh look, we got her down a little bit faster this time with my buffs. That wasn't bad at all. And of course I'm rolling on the gear, I'm just waiting for it to pop up. <laughs> and you can see, this game's got some graphical glitches and um, where where the, the hit ticks, the damage ticks will keep going. I don't think I got anything this time around. No, I didn't. It doesn't look like I did. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, yeah, Tweet, Gaz, Tweet, they, yeah, they got the gear. That's fine. It's just going to be fed into my anima anyways. An anima in this game is an additional strike and defense item. Uh, this is my anima rage, which is my attack item, and anima shelter, which is my defense item. Plus, they just introduced with this, with this particular patch, I'll pull my screen over here so I'm not having to look way too far to the right. Um, it, this is what is called an elemental relic and this also aids in your attack and gives you some extra buffs and I've got an extra 157 hit points, an extra 2200 mana, uh, extra 132 attack which is fairly significant. It's a pretty big chunk of this. Um, plus an extra spot of defense so I'm at 3593 with buffs. Um, this game has some pretty cool pets. Um, 
Now it does have some client issues, even at 4K with my pretty cool card, you can see the frame rates, not the best, and that's a client problem, not so much this computer. I can stream things at 120 hertz at 4K without issue, um, but when there's lots of, lots of particle effects, lots of graphical effects on the screen, especially when there's a lot of character effects, um, which the characters are probably some of the most detailed in game, as you can see here then uh, we start getting some lag now this game is definitely not for children as you can see my pet here she's got a big case of the under boob and she's wearing a thong um, and I've got a whole host of these pets uh, another thing is this is this is Bill's another one of our players um, sometimes sometimes if you're walking through a female you can see the fully anatomical uh, base of the characters which is pretty bad let's see if uh is this monkey no this is cc leah which is which is one of monkey's uh tunes i hope i'm not gonna get banned but i don't know i guess hers is fine too but there's definitely some graphical issues they have full anatomical uh sprite textures on here so uh, so don't be surprised if you do end up seeing some nipple um and some uh and some bush but that's not too much out of the way for a game like this this game was d not designed for children so much as it was for teens and adults um, who are into the MMO section I do get some pretty cool mounts in this game I won this uh, from one of the one of the GM's his name is Domino um, I won this this wonderfully massive mount as you can see it's it's pretty big compared to even large mounts like the panda there um, this thing this thing takes up quite a bit of space for a long time I was the only person on the server with this mount besides the GM's and they finally just released it in the cash shop um, as an orb that you can buy and get a chance at popping one of these so a few people have them you know the orbs are pretty inexpensive this game is free to play of course you can cash shop in it as well <laughs> some of the, some of the graphics in this game are just just hilarious. They're not too terrible. Look, they sank through the ground. I sank right through that that column there. I mean, there's there's definitely your mount does not have a very large collision area. Like I can I can put the whole front end of my mount through this wall. And look, part of it's already sticking out. Um, you do have some of a small collision area. Like say, for instance, if I switch over to uh, one of my smaller mounts. The collision area is a lot better. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to what is called um, this is the new 90 plus area, um, and we're going to be killing a thing called the Hermit, which is a fairly strong mob. I mean, I don't really need it, but I will still kill one so I can get some more green Hermit scrolls, which are these lovely things right here so I can also pop a blue hermit scroll oh, I wonder why it auto routed us right here that's weird I'm gonna go to the normal area major you will not run faster than me I will put my speed boost on and then of course here is this gentleman and all of our friendly characters which we call tunes Careful, Archdemon Barachin. So I gotta go to the Cursed Dungeon and talk to that Archdemon that's in there. They've made this game significantly harder. The 90 patch was great. Once you hit 90, you were able to do most of the high level stuff. Now that the 100 patch has been released, and sorry, I'm moving my microphone. Now that the 100 patch has been released, we've found even at max level, and I suspect even when we all get fully geared up, I've only got one piece of the high level gear which is the 95 warrior belt as opposed to the 88 chest pieces head pieces and weapon that uh, you could get before they've made this game significantly harder we used to be able to sit there and bought the 90 level mobs at the 90 patch with our current gear without getting hurt too much because the damage scale unfortunately most of these new mobs that they've come out with are actually at level 90 or actually at level 100 plus whoever had to open my 
my daily sign-in gift. Gold, uh, what did I get? 500 Odo Guardian. Ooh, I get more resist points. I need them. So, we are all about to kill this guy. Let me say, I'm ready. I'm going to buff everybody just to make sure. Now you can kill a white hermit a day. You can kill as many green hermits as you want, but you only get the experience off of one. I'm going to go ahead and set my bot and get ready to fight this guy. Everyone else seems to be getting ready. Popping in three, two, one. Ooh. This is what Diesel looks like. Oh, they're using Diesel Sprite as a hermit skin. Oh, he doesn't hurt that bad. We're getting enough DPS on him. Oh, there's the bleed. There's the ice block. Healing myself. Making sure we're going to be good here. Oh, there's another bleed. Oh, I'm going to heal myself. Continuously heal myself. Launching my AoEs. That was pretty easy. Now look, I got 90,000 soul power, one fealty, and I received another hermit scroll. Just gotta thank everyone. That was awesome. We killed that one the fastest we've ever killed a green hermit before. Which is pretty nice. And then there's, there's a level above the green hermit, which is the blue hermit. And that guy is hard really hard and this is the first time nobody's died it looks like too which is not a bad thing and again this is the new 90 area it's actually really kind of cool here very eerie this is where all the demons come from apparently we have demons elves the stone men vampires lichens humans dwarves and i don't think i'm forgetting much else but uh but yeah there's there's tons of races you can play in this game so you can play all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of looks. I am a human, of course, so I can get uh, the the extra. Your mastery is increased by 25, and your health by 3% for 30 minutes. So that's not a too terrible way to uh, to to get some race racial buffs. Right now, I'm going to be doing some more daily things. Like I'm going over here to the beggar. Now the beggar with this new area. He gives you things to help you update your relic, your elemental relic. So we've got a few options here. We've got, I'm a poor guy, only one soul coin. So five soul coins, no more. Well done, 10 soul coins. He's, he's asking for money. Um, if you try to do the 10 soul coins, most likely you're going to fail. Some people don't, some people do. I'm probably going to fail this. And of course, you can see my quest log up here. Let me move that down a little bit so you can see it better. Beggar saving. Uh, insufficient coins in your bag. Can I not complete this quest until the requirements are fulfilled? Pay 10 soul gold coins. I failed the quest. Let's try it again. I have plenty of soul gold. I don't have that much gold gold, which is what amounts to real money. Let's try five just to see if you get, I get lucky with him. And of course we're posting sticks and the arch demon and stuff like that. Now I'm probably going to fail it again. You'll see that up here somewhere. Failed. Now there it is. I guess I can't really change where that sets. I tried to a few times. 4K is the biggest thing. All right. So now I'm going to try this last one. Yes. He gave me three contented miracle pouches. I got 4,500 soul power. And now let's open these things. Nope. I got crap. You can see, again, this come from China. So you can see how on the screen here um, some of these are still in Chinese um, they, they still haven't quite got that over yet China is currently on their New Year's break so they'll be back in about two to three weeks from when I post this let's just see where I'm at masteries and resistances I'm golden there um, now in order to upgrade this now there's still some graphical glitches in this game like, say, for instance, my elemental relic operation, if I mouse over it, there's nothing there. Um, they really want you to drag these over into your sidebar. However, 
since there's no icon, you oftentimes forget that there's something there. Uh, again, there's more graphical glitches like with this, these new 90 skills or 100 skills. Um, there's these Heart of the Sentinel and stuff like that. They, they've got the wrong, <laughs> they've got a musical note icon with them, which is wrong. That should be something else. So in order to upgrade your relics in this game, you right click that, put that in your bag. Make sure you put the right one in the the summoning double pentagram thing that they always put in here. Um, and then you right click on the on the Chinese shield or whatever this is. I don't know what this even says. Um, but uh, my dominate relic, which is a blue relic, I'm going to relic fusion. Yes. Right click. Relic Fusion, confirm, and uh, Earth Acquired, maybe 113 of 142. And I'm going to need 19 more growth, so about two more days of doing this, and I should be good. So let's put that back on, and yeah, we're great. When I get this level 10, I'll be able to upgrade it to what is known as I go basic click this again rank promotion if I drag this oh I gotta drag it from my bag again this game's got some some issues it'll be turned into horde the horde for the horde well wow, reference there for those of you who have not played it so yeah, this game is this game is pretty large scaled. Uh, I got some of my friends that are over here with. We're gonna kill that arch demon. I guess I'll go over there with them. Oh, where's it sending me? Oh, he's in the asylum of dream. Don't mind me, just read my thing. There's moon by moon, high moon. So this game does look fairly good in 4K. Oh, one of the one of the things that I discovered in this game that we have is you can't auto route around this. You run right into it just because there's a giant crater or something underneath here. When they put this uh, this castle asset into here. I don't know what the heck they were thinking, but man, they really screwed the pooch with that area right there because most people are auto routing back and forth and you totally get stuck there. Oh, how the heck did she get over here? That's weird. She's quick. All right, I'm going to go grab the Asylum of Dream person, which is on this. Look at this light bridge. Look at this, these graphics. These actually look fairly good. The game, the game's not the best graphically wise, but still doesn't look too terrible. And there's Major. Let me pick up this quest from Vess. Kill the dying arch demon. Doing business. Now I actually get to go to the demon. And then, oh, 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 I'm stuck. And you can definitely get stuck in this game. I'm stuck again. I'll just auto route. It doesn't recognize whatever this light bridge thing is a place to auto route on. So. Here I am. Here I am. In the arms of an angel. Sorry, I get a little sing song here. Boing. And we're here, getting ready to smack this dying arch demon. I really don't need him for the points, but I'll take him for the soul power, which I've almost got completely maxed out. Uh, only uh, damage or defense. <sighs> um, for now, since PvP is broken, I'm going to increase my damage because that applies across all characters and all mobs. Um, Cerberus says they still hurt. Typically, they only hit for like 10 because I'm level 100. However, they still hit me for about 1,000, which only having 133,000 health, 133 hits, and I am dead. And that's without proper heals. 
So this game is definitely significantly harder than the 90 patch. We got Gwalin running around. Issa doesn't like when I jump on my giant mount. She's probably going to yell at me, watch. Get off that mount, it messes with my graphics. And it's not her graphics that's the problem. It's the client. Because the client does not like the particle effects. And I'm just running around and making things. I wonder if uh, she's she's bitching in TS right now. I've got TS off, so which is TeamSpeak. I've got that off so people... Uh, aren't over talking me because it likes to record my microphone very quietly uh, she's not she's not yelling at me in chat yet she must be doing something else uh, I'll get off of it and not be annoying and of course I got the flying mount um, again I was the only person with this mount pretty much on the server that was actively playing for a long time there was a there was one other person who had it a couple other people have gotten it before me but i really was the only person with this mount because the drop rate was so low in the orbs um then haya i got her my wife um i ended up getting her one of these mounts as well we, we had to pop a few orbs and then she and i were were playing around on them for a while and then then they then they came out with a super easy way to get this mount where you didn't have to spend a lot of money and then all of a sudden everybody had this mount and that upset me quite a bit because i was like i was the only one with this mount but my my brattiness lended way to me starting playing the game again just because of a mount all right so we're gonna get ready to kill this dying arch demon before he despawns just waiting for everybody to get over here Gaslan with his Superman title he's got his masteries and resistances all maxed out that's how you get that that's what I'm currently working on and we're waiting on we're gonna kill this guy pretty fast he gives us he gives us some stuff Playing Arch Demon's Souls. Oh, he's already dead. Now I got one demon soul in my bag. Boom. Now I have to go back to that really pretty place with the with the light bridge thing. Which is actually right over here. I don't have to fly that far. And again, on my flying mount. You can see the in 4K how good this looks. Let me turn my map off. Oh, quest log off. We have to fly over here, get off the mount, and I'll just get on my ground mount. And in your bag, right click the demon soul, ta-da, it is green in my quest log over here. Then I get soul power and soul coins. Done. That was pretty easy. Now, botting these mobs is what's killing most people, and... And it's really hard to do. A lot of people don't realize how hard this actually has become. And I'll just jump down and show you what happens. I will actually kill myself here in just a second in this game. And show you how much these actually hurt. I'm going to blast what is known as my... Uh, uh, I won't do my soul force. I'll do my soul force at first. Just so I can get some mobs out the way. So um, there are one hits with my soul force. But that doesn't recharge... Um, all the way it takes a little bit uh, uh, you can see up here the green line is my soul force it has to be at 100 uh, before I can launch it again now if I AOE uh, with um, either my thunderous cleave or my sword cyclone let's just do my sword cyclone here and I'm going to try and fight these mobs you can see how hard they're hitting me you know 4k takes a piece of course I'm starting to pray um, and these guys are hitting me really really hard Yep, and I'm already dead. So, um, this game is significantly harder with the 100 patch at max level than it was with the 90 patch at max level. And I think something's broken here, and I think China's going to have to address it because you can't even bot mobs. You can't even AoE 
Um, you used to be able to solo most of these mobs, and of course I'm, I'm still dying, so let me let me heal up real fast. But you used to be able to AOE and, and, and bot mobs by yourself, or with at least a healer. Now even, even uh, the most powerful healers can't keep you healed in this game, which I believe is a big issue. And even if I were in the max gear, I think this would still be a problem. So, and I just want to show you guys what I mean by being able to fully, oh, let me actually repair my gear first before I go anywhere. And I load pretty quickly uh, between these spots. Most of the time that takes between 30 and 30 and 45 seconds on most people's computers. I've got a pretty, pretty kick-ass system here. Um, so let me go repair my gear real quick. At the runes and scrolls, lady. Repair. Uh, spent 11 gold. It's expensive. Then let's go back to... And those weren't even that high of level mobs. Those were level 90s and stuff like that. Uh, let me heal myself up. At Fairy real fast. Huh. Teleported on top of that guy. I guess... I guess NPCs have collision areas. Characters don't. NPCs do. There. Now I'm healed up. Good to go. Let me go back to the teleporter here. And I'll show you the actual 90 mobs and how easy they were to kill. And there's no difference between now and then how easy they were to kill. And how much um, damage they do to me. Let's just find an area over here. I guess I'll grab I'll grab these guys. Let me AoE them one time so I can get some and drag them over. See, they're only doing like 10 damage to me. And like, I won't even fight them. I'll just pop my skills. I'll let them kill themselves on me. See, they're already dying. Yeah, they're, they're killing themselves. I'm not even fighting. I've got my hands off the keyboard right now. Yeah, she killed herself on me. See, those were the, the top level mobs. These guys were the hard guys. And they were kind of hard unless you unless you hit level 90. So, um, they weren't entirely too, uh, too hard. And especially when you hit level 90 because their damage decreased significantly. Only They only do 10 damage a pop. And as you can see, I can dang near kill one just launching a few of my skills. And it wasn't that much different between the 90 patch and the 100 patch. So these, weren't, these aren't too bad whatsoever. With the new 100 mobs and 100, 200, 304 plus mobs that we're supposed to kill, which are these demon servants and stuff like that. These guys hurt bad. I'm not going to lie. In fact, I'll show you. I'll just jump in real fast. Everybody's leaving the party because they're going to go do their own thing. And I'll leave the party in just a sec. Uh, but... Let me check this real fast. Right, quit the group. I'm just going to jump in there and I'll show you how much they hurt and how much they hit you for and what they look like. So I'm going to go to the training ground where they have these upper level mobs there. Those guys hurt really hard. So I'll just hit one. That's a level 100. She's level 99. There's got to be a red one over here somewhere. Come on. Oh, there it is. Arrogant Inferno Demon. There he is, level 101. There's some 102s, 104s I've seen in this game. They're, they're, they're kind of ridiculous, and you can't really hit them. So I hope they nerf some of these mobs, because if I tried to fight any of these right now, I'd die in about 10 hits. And as you can see, I've only killed about 36, 47 of them there, um, without having your soul force filled up all the time, which does take a significant amount of time to recharge. It is kind of hard to complete these quests. But I'm not too entirely afraid of doing that because I am max level. I don't have too much in the way of doing that. Ooh, I already unlocked that. Let me put in my other 
my other Claudius Imperial Order, which is my King's Box. Whenever that pops up, I'm actually going to eat some food. There's EXP foods that you can eat during the day. There, you can get EXP just from doing basic things. Oop, I guess I need to go talk to the Archdemon. So, I just wanted to give everyone a preview of Forsaken World and what it took to uh, do some of the things in here and, and just, just a preview of of some of the graphics in this game as well. I mean, it's not a, it's not the best game in the world. It's not the prettiest game in the world. Not the most graphic rich game in the world. However, this is still a pretty awesome game. It's free to play. You should check it out. Go to artgames.com. Uh, you can even download it on Steam if you have that. Again, my name is KG Arashi, and I'm signing off.